I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about basic approaches to integration. In problem number 33, I'd like to evaluate the integral of dx over x squared minus 2x plus 10. All right, uh, the bottom of this fraction could be a nicer thing for us. Unfortunately, uh, this 10 is kind of causing us problems. This is almost a perfect square on the bottom, but not quite, because the perfect square would be x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1, but we have plus 10. So what I want to do is I just want to break this 10 up. I could write 10 as 1 plus 9. Uh, because I want the 1 to include with these two guys to complete the square. Okay, so let's rewrite. Uh, so I could write this as the integral of dx over x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 9. Okay, so I haven't really changed anything here. I just rewrote 10 as 1 plus 9 and everything's fine there. But now look at what we've got right here. That factors nicely. x squared minus 2x plus 1, that's a perfect square. So I could rewrite that as, I'll write it over here, the integral of dx over, well, this guy is a perfect square. That's x minus 1 quantity squared. And then I've got plus 9. Okay, at this point you might be able to just do this antiderivative in your head if you see that it has a form of a tan inverse. If not, and if you're saying, well, I'm not exactly sure how to do this at this point, you can always make a u substitution for the x minus 1. So let's make that u substitution. I'll say u is x minus 1, so du is dx. So now I could re rewrite this guy as the integral of du over u squared plus 9. But now this is a very clear tan inverse, and I could say that the antiderivative of du over u squared plus 9 would be uh, one-third tan inverse of u over 3 plus a constant. Now I just have to plug u back in. u is x minus 1, so I can write that the answer here is one-third tan inverse of uh, x minus 1 divided by 3 plus a constant. And we're done.